Ah, good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, ma'am. Yeah, want to know your opinion. How should we not thank God? Um, to us that, let me see. The Bible says, in all things, in all, give thanks. So, I want to believe there are no ways, then, or except you are worshipping idols. Then I will say that those are not accepted ways of thanking God or worshipping God. But, in you might be running and be thanking God. You might be jumping and be thanking God. You might be rolling on the ground and be thanking God. You might be singing. You might be praying. In. You might be speaking. In. There's no way you should not be thanking. Because it was written that in all things, give thanks. All right, but uh, well, what of cases of the type of words that we use in thanking? Okay. If the selection of words, then there is some words that might be so, um, so unsignificant in usage. Because um, there's a word uh, like somebody would say now, um, so you know such kind of a word, it might not correlate directly with what exactly your 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 you want to your message. So in such kind of a things, I don't believe you must select the words like the psalmist. If you don't know, like the psalmist. That he did the baptism for the Pharaoh inside, and you can look at it down, it's true. He baptized, and they were remain, they were still there till today because their carcass and their bones are still there. Praising God, you are almighty. Nebuchadnezzar, until he realized that he ate grasses, then you know that there's somebody that is superior. So, in I believe usage of words, because when he said something, he now acknowledged that there's one supremacy. That is above him. So I want to know in, sele in selection of our words, it should be the word. But you know, there's nothing we want to say that will describe God. But as the word is going, there's some words that when you say Allah, like talking like you say Allah, you know when you look at that word, jana jana in Yoruba means something that's so big, big. But it still don't explain what the and the mightiness of God. That word go go timu as Yoruba will say. So absolutely in just usage. But we should just be cautioned so that we will not use um, uh, wrong words in thanking God. But there's no way you cannot thank God. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Uh, good day, ma. Welcome, sir. Uh, we want to ask, in what way should we not be thanking God? Maybe the way we should not thank God. We are asked to thank God all the time. But there are ways we do it as Christians that we should not be doing it. Which of those ways do you think? Eh, there are many ways. Do we used to thank God? But sometimes when we are thanking God, we want to compare things which we shouldn't. And especially the evil that has befallen other people. If though we may say that we are not using that against them, but we should thank God freely. We should learn to thank God freely. Not saying, let, let me give you an example in Yoruba. In your local Alaja Meji to Jade Laye, God owns our life. He knows our beginning from the end, and He knows our end from the beginning. So, the mere fact that that happened, there are many things that happen. Even God was looking at Jesus Christ when He was being crucified, but it has become glory today. We shouldn't thank God like that. But we are so much used to it that we think that that is part of life. So, Whichever way. Thank you very much. Good day, ma. Yes, sir. You're welcome. I want to ask how should we not thank God? There are ways we should not thank God. Which of them can you tell us? Well, I would say we shouldn't thank God grudgingly or forcefully. You should, be, you should not be forced to thank God. Thank God whether it is good or it is otherwise. Thank God. The Bible says, I say, thank God always, no matter the situation. It is in the midst of the thanksgiving that those things that you are looking as mountains, they will not be leveled before you. So you shouldn't thank God, being forced, you should not be forced to thank God, or you should not thank God grudgingly. The thanks should come from, from me, from the depths of our hearts. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Uh, is, is, is there a way we should not be thanking God, but we are doing today as Christians? Well, to me, you know, some do thank God with 
the purpose of um with the purpose of showing or of displaying what go, what has happened to them maybe they just bought a car uh-huh. maybe as a show up maybe they just got a car or they just uh, completed a house or so you know they are doing some are doing it to show off to display what they have but which is not i think which is not supposed to be a as a christian you know on a daily basis we have to be thanking him because it is a grace for us to see the light of another day it is a grace for us to see another month it is a grace for us to even to acquire anything it is a grace for us even to give back to baby are you getting me now so in all things we have to give thanks to god but whenever we are doing it we must do it according to what god has said not to um not to show off not to embarrass others are you getting me now not to embarrass others not to uh, mock people so we have to do it according to the bible according to the word of god thank you very much You're welcome so i welcome once again i hope you enjoyed the interview uh this is our reasoning together we want to continue from the interview we want to take it up from the interview session and the topic we are looking at if you are following us is uh, maybe i should give it a title how not to thank god how not to thank god yes we have heard from the interview that uh, how should we not thank god uh, there are different ways we show our appreciation to god there are different ways we thank god for what god has done for us and um, when we look at the way we do it especially in africa when we look at the way we thank god uh, a very sound and spiritual person will discover that um, there are ways we do our thanksgiving before the lord that it ought not to be so that we shouldn't have been doing it like that there should have been a better way of doing it than the way we are doing it and um, and that is what we want to look at briefly uh the little time we have left on this uh, 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 session in this segment psalm 92 verse 1 says it is good to give thanks to the lord and to sing praises to your name o most high yes it is good to give thanks to the lord and i want to add again to give thanks to the lord always all the time it is good to do that that we should give thanks to god regularly and always in fact there was a time i remember i was challenging brethren in our local assembly that some of us christians we are so is a symptom and is 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 a pointer to something that we are so selfish that uh, when we need something and that thing is so serious we will go we will pray all kinds of prayer we will fast seven days three days seven days asking something from god we will do night vigil we will do vigil we will do all kind different kinds of prayers and we continue like that until god answer but unfortunately as soon as god answer something we have been praying about for maybe one month with fasting and prayer and when god has done it we will not thank him more than 5 10 minutes we will just come to the midst of the people of god our uh, brethren praise the lord i thank god god has done this for me and in our prayer father i thank you ah i don't know that you can do this for me but you have done it thank you lord thank you jesus i really appreciate you and all that and all that within 5 to 10 minutes that is gone and the next thing is uh, father 
I want you to do this for me. I want you. we are already back again to and it's all about do this for me, do this for me, do this for me. To even give enough time to thank God, we will not even do. And I challenged the brethren. I said, how many of us have fasted? Maybe three days fasting. And someone asked us, a brother or sister asked us, bro, I noticed that you are fasting for the past two or three days now. And what are you fasting about? And he's saying, in fact, I am fasting and and." The only reason why I'm fasting is I'm using it to thank God. And the brother is saying, you mean you don't ask anything from God? No, I'm just thanking God. I am just thanking God. No, I hardly, I don't know if there is a Christian. <laughs> I've not met anyone anyway, myself inclusive. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Who has actually fasted for three days or even for a whole day, and using it to do nothing but giving thanks to God. And that is to show that something is wrong with us. But when we want to ask something from God, we can go on fasting and fasting and fasting and fasting and fasting. Yes, it is good to give thanks to God and to do it always all the time. But there are ways we do it that is not, is not good. First Thessalonians 5.18 even says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So in everything, we should give thanks to God. Whether good or bad, we should give thanks to God. So it is always good to give thanks to God. But how should we not do this? The wrong way of thanksgiving. It is common that uh, in Africa, whenever we want to give thanks to God, I want to put it in one uh, 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 language. To put it in one basket. And then I will now be explaining it in the basket. And what is the basket? In Africa, Whenever we want to give thanks to God, we are, so, we are so used to. And it's not only on Thanksgiving, it affects every other aspect, even in prayer. We are so used, it has become more or less a culture for us. A culture for us that we always like comparison. Comparing ourselves with the other people around us, or even not around us. We love comparison too much. We compare and contrast a lot. We compare too much. And even when we are praying, we will either be praying to be like somebody, like this person, or like that person. We will always, we will always have something to compare with other people. And this is, again, what we do when we give thanks to God. And the same mentality, same mentality we have brought into our thanksgiving. And let me give you some of the lines of our Thanksgiving prayer in Africa. Some of you are not in Africa and you are not, you don't do that. Please don't make fun of us. The Lord will help us to, to change and to correct some of this. That's why we are having this forum. That's why we are having this kind of um, uh, 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 series, this kind of um, uh, uh, charge that we are charging ourselves with. When we wake up in the morning, an average African Christian family, when they gather together and they want to do family prayer in the morning, you will hear something like this. Father, we thank you that we wake up, we slept peacefully and we wake up peacefully this morning. Instead of saying it like that, as simple as that, and move on, we will not stop. And then you will hear us hiding it. Some slept yesterday but they cannot wake up this morning. Some slept yesterday, and when they wake up this morning, they woke up in the hospital. Isn't that funny? And uh, we will continue like that. And uh, we will now, you will hear us hiding. God, we are not mocking them, oh. We are only thanking you, oh. 
We are not mocking those in the hospital. We are not mocking those that have died. Oh, we are only we are only thanking you that we have not died like them. Oh. And then, the funny thing is, those in the hospital, those that are admitted in the hospital, when they and they are Christians, when they also want to give thanks to God, they will still compare themselves with some other. People who are also Christians or who are also hospitalized, but their case is worse than their own. And you will still see here a Christian in the hospital, on the hospital bed. Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Though I am sick, but Lord, my sickness is even better. Some cases are worse than my own. Some, they have cut one leg off. Some, their hand has been amputated. Some, their head has been opened. Some are mad. They are in the in, 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 in a neuro world. Some are in this. Some they don't have eyes. Some, but my own is just a malaria that they. And then it's always compare and contrast. It's always compare and compare and compare and compare and compare. Hmm. You will hear again. A Christian woman, I mean a Christian woman, Christian sister who was pregnant and God has helped her through to put to bed safe delivery, normal delivery, safe delivery. And you will see her dancing in the church, church in quotes, dancing in the assembly of the people of God and she wants to share testimony. This is the line of her testimony. Praise the Lord. Thank, I, I thank God that I, I carried this pregnancy for nine good months. Some, they became pregnant the same time I became pregnant. But today, they cannot, they, 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 they did not give back. They, their pregnancy got aborted. But God, I thank you that my own did not get aborted. That is one. Two, some, they carry the pregnancy. But in fact, they carry it to nine months. But when they want to give birth, they give, it was a still birth. They give birth to a dead baby. But my own and my life and my baby is alive. Number two. Number three. Oh, praise God. I thank God. In fact, so when I went, the last time I went to the hospital to, for, 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 for Auntie Neta, and the, the doctor was like saying, this is your baby is big. Oh, maybe we will do see a serious session for you. I said, God forbid. Over, it, it, it's not my portion. It's not my portion. I, they, will not, they will not do CS for me in Jesus' name. Brethren, praise the Lord. At the end of the day, I put to bed safely. I have safe delivery. Some people, some women, it is true CS. They, they, they gave birth. They gave birth through CS. But God has done it for me. I didn't give birth through CS. Through C the question is, is CS a curse? Is CS, Caesarea section, is it a bad thing? Are those that have been sessions, sectioned in the hospital to, to, for delivery, are they caused? Why is someone rejoicing that uh, some people were, 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 were gave birth through Caesarea session, sections? Why, why are some people like that? Why will you be saying you, some people you were pregnant the same time, but they, their own pregnancy got aborted? Is it, is that good? Is that the right way to give thanks to God? Isn't that a mock or a mockery in, in style? That is mockery in style. Uh, some, they carry their own to time, but uh, it was a stillbirth. Baby. But I mean, I, don't, I did not give birth to a dead baby. Isn't that mocking? What of if the day this sister is sharing that testimony, there is someone in their midst, in that congregation, that the same thing, what she was saying was bad, did not, God did not allow it to happen to her, happen to that person. Would that person be happy? Of course not. Why not come before the people of God if you want to share testimony and say, Father, brethren, praise the Lord with me. I thank God I was pregnant and the Lord delivered me. Simple. Why must you mention those who had 
bad, I mean, I mean, terrible experiences and you are now rejoicing over them. And you will say, I, I am not mocking them. Oh. I am not rejoicing over them. Oh. I'm only thanking God. Oh. What kind of thanking God is that? That is not the right way to thank God. You hear people who travel, Christians who travel, and when they want to give thanks to God, Father, I thank you. I travel safely and I return safely. Some die on the way in accidents. Some traveled and they ended up in the hospital. Some traveled and this happened to them. Some traveled and kidnapper kidnapped them. Some traveled and the, those that are using people for ritual got them on the way. Some traveled and all kind and but Lord, I thank you. My own was not like that. Thank you that and all that. Brethren, isn't this too much? We need to correct some of these things. We need to correct some of these things. Let me round off with a story I had. And it's very, 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 very sad. I heard of a story that um, a woman just lost her husband. And uh, I can't remember who told me the story and I can't remember, though I didn't verify it, but I think it's not something that, it is something that could and that can happen very well. A, 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 a woman lost her husband and um, she came and she lost her husband young. The marriage was young. Maybe they just had maybe one or two children and the children are still young. So the man died maybe in his um, early, maybe early 40s or, or thereabout. I can't remember vividly. And this woman just went into a congregation of the people of God. I don't think it was a regular, regular uh, denomination, regular uh, assembly. She just went, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember the full story. So this woman was in the midst of these people, so-called people of God. And the person, maybe the pastor that was in front, was asking them to, was leading them in prayer of thanksgiving. And uh, he said, we want to thank God. We want to give thanks to the Lord. We want to give thanks to the Lord. And uh, the thanksgiving we want to thank God is you will thank God that uh, God has kept your family. Nobody has died in your family. You have not lost anybody in your family. You wives, thank God that you have not lost your husband because some have lost their husband. You husband, thank God you have not lost your wife because some people have lost their wives. You family, husband and wife, thank God you have not lost any of your children because some people have lost their children. And as they were shouting, Father, I thank you. This woman that came, that need comfort, that should come to the midst of the people of God and be comforted with the kind of songs they will sing, with the kind of the sermons she would hear, with the kind of she should be comforted, they only added to her sorrow. Where she should have gotten comfort and consolation, she got sorrow, additional sorrow to take back home. And that is what we do. And we, we think we are thanking God. We don't know that the thanking God that we are doing, we are only mocking and making jest and even causing sorrow for other brethren, for other people. Is it our fault that her husband is gone? Could it not be the will of God that her husband died? Think about it. Of course, it could be the will of God that the husband is dead. So what's the big deal there? Why would somebody be rejoicing because uh, some, someone's husband is dead and her own husband has not died? And you will even hear pastors. They will be praying. Brethren want to do 10 years anniversary. And for the 10 years, the, some denominations, for the past 10 years that God has established this commission, nobody has died in this church. Go to some other churches. Every year they bury people. But in our own church, it is not like that. Let's be... Ha, 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 ba. And these are the kind of things we hear every day. Almost every day we hear it. When we want to compose songs, 
the song we will compose is also compare and contrast song. A song something in line with uh, 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 Baba, Father, I thank you that my case is not like this other person's case. That is how we will compose our songs. Round and round like that. Round and round like that. I remember one, one, one song like that that I tried to correct brethren. Now, why are you singing this kind of a song? And you will sing it all deadly. And let me translate that. That I, I, I thank God that they don't because of me buy caskets from those that are selling caskets. That is the summary of the song. That God, I thank you. They don't buy casket because of me from those that are selling caskets. And I began to wonder. I was wondering and I said, brethren, and you sing these songs and you think you are thanking God? You think you are singing song? I remember in our primary school days, there is a common song that they taught us that we always recite every day. And when I look at it, I say, is this Thanksgiving or what is this? Summer food but cannot eat. Some can eat, but have no food. We are food, and we can eat. Glory be to you, O God. So we are saying some have food, but they cannot eat. Some can eat, but they don't have food. But as far as we are concerned, for us, we have food, and we can eat. Therefore, glory be be to God. And that is the way we were brought up. Compare and contrast. When our children, at the end of the semester in the school or term in the school, and they get their results, and our children pass very well, maybe came first or second or third, we will thank God, thank God, God, I thank you. My child is brilliant more than these other children. More than, it's always compare and contrast. Brethren, those are not the way to give thanks to the Lord. I wish, brethren, we could study the New Testament and see what the apostles, the early believers, what they thank God about. The Bible said in Acts of the Apostles, they, they took Peter and the rest of them and they said they should not preach again and they preached. And when they got them, they, they flogged them. Flogging matured men, married men, they flogged them. And the Bible said they went home rejoicing, giving thanks to God that they were partakers of the sufferings of Christ. Can we give thanks like that today? Can we give thanks to God because of sorrow, because we have lost our, our valuable things, can we say, Father, I thank you. That means this is not needed in my life and it is gone. It is for my good. Can we do that? No. No way. No way. Stephen was rejoicing and he was even praying that God should forgive those that were killing, that were stoning him until they stoned him to death. And he was even begging on their behalf. He was rejoicing that. And why? On what are we rejoicing today? And how are we even doing that rejoicing? How are we even thanking the Lord, brethren? It is very sad. It is high time we, we, we started reviewing our songs. And we started uh, 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 reconstructing our, our thanksgiving, the way we give thanks to the Lord. Brethren, I hope... And I trust the Lord that he would give you understanding and he will give you inspiration and will open your eyes to these things that we are bringing across to you. It is a challenge. When the Lord challenged me with this many years ago, I was like, wow, Lord, indeed I've not done well. And the Lord has really helped me since then. I believe he can help you too. If you are ready to change, and you can ask the Lord to help you so that you will learn to give thanks to God. Whatever the Lord has done for you, give thanks to him on that particular thing and leave it at that. Father, we thank you for keeping us throughout the night, for bringing us to the, 
to this money, leave it at that. You don't need to compare those that slept and could not wake up. What's your own business about that? If you have traveled and you have come back, give thanks to God. God, I thank you that I've traveled safely and I've come back safely. Leave it at that. Why must you compare and contrast yourself? And if you have given birth through normal delivery, why not just give thanks to God? God, I thank you for, I was pregnant. You helped me to be pregnant and to deliver. Simple. Those that, if, if you are delivered through CS, thank the Lord. CS is just a medical means of delivery. There is nothing big deal there. It's God has given those doctors that wisdom and that knowledge. Many lives will have been lost, if not for Caesarea session. Many lives will have been lost. Many pregnant women will have become dead, will have lost the pregnant women and their babies. Thank God for, 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 for that wisdom. Thank God for that innovation. Thank God for CS. I don't know why CS has become a curse among African Christians. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. May the Lord bless his word to our hearts. And may the Lord give us understanding of some of these things that we are trying to bring to you through the help of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. See you next time.